what is up you guys my name is Sandworld, and today we're gonna be looking at outbreak once more so if you've seen this video before we're gonna go over some new sounds and we're gonna talk a little bit about what we were talking about in that video which had to do with layering and how to have a sub work with the um, with your wobbles and all that okay so without further ado let's get started so outbreak is a new cinematic sound bank guys it's meant to be rougher heavier just dirtier in general than its predecessor so we, you guys can see that it's going to be fairly heavy now the bank itself is mainly made up of a lot of bases as you guys can see we have pretty much half the screen already filled up with bases here as you guys can see and then we have a couple of leads like three of them some sequencers which are going to be probably baseline so it's safe to say that this sound mic is mainly going to be for you if you're into that dubstep sound, into that new sound that is pretty much taking over like the festivals, you know, with like Jaws, Dylan Francis, Nightmare, uh, Virtual Riot, and all that good stuff. Now, let's take a look at some of the sounds. Now, one of the questions that people are always asking is stuff like, how do we have a sub with maybe you know work with a wobble and one of the ways that you can make this possible is if the sound has a sequencer. Um, and especially with cymatics, they tend to route everything properly. Let's say we have this sound, right? The sound itself already has a sub added to it, but let's say this is the sound you want and you kind of want a dedicated sub. And what this means is that you want to alter the sub without altering the rest of the sound. Then pretty much what we can do is we can, let's say, duplicate this sound across. What we're going to do now is go into here and turn off the oscillators that are pretty much being routed. The sub can be sent to direct out. That means that it's going to bypass all the effects. It's not going to go through a filter. It's just literally going to go straight to the master channel instead of going through, you know, all its all the phases that it would go through before, like the effects chain and the filter chain and all that. And now we're stuck with that. Let's turn off the white noise as well. And you can see we have pretty much a sub now for that. Baseline. So if we were to turn this off and go like this. And now the cool thing about this is that I can put the sub bass to be in mono. I can saturate it a certain way. Maybe, you know, focus in on that frequency it's at and, and add a bit of saturation. Uh, add a bit of saturation or even increase the volume by max now I'm using this sound bank as a tool for this because it's perfect for that a lot of sound banks will provide you with wobbles but then they won't provide you the LFO and then to the sub so then you're gonna have to do it yourself but this is the easiest way of doing that whole how to add a sub to a wobble base because sometimes wobble bases they're not gonna hit especially because they're gonna have some sort of attack as you guys can see here then that's when we run into that problem because if we have a sub that just hits it doesn't have an attack it's literally gonna look like this and it's not going to do it like this way. So you're going to hear the sub hit first and then the wobble happen. And some people tend to pick up on it. I've done that mistake before. So keep that in mind. So in order to do it for other stuff, it would be a similar, similar uh, way to doing it. Now, the cool thing about cymatics, guys, is the amount of sounds it can create just from wobbles. You know, I've always had this perception that wobbles tend to sound the same. But as soon as you go into a cymatics pack... It's like you're kind of blown away by the amount of sounds. Now, if you again, if you're into dubstep, bass house, trap with growls, dubs, um, you know, and wobbles, then this is the bank for you, obviously. Now, they're gonna have bonuses, as I've explained in the previous video, where pretty much you buy it from within a certain time frame, and you're gonna get, I believe, three packs for free. It's gonna be the vocal phrases, um, virus wave tables, and I believe there's one more that I'm missing. I think it's gonna be some type of wave tables. Now. This pack, again, is perfect if you're into that bass house dubstep kind of feel. A lot of the sounds are going to be for those high kind of 140 BPM dubstep kind of tracks. So you can see. It's going to... Very, very cool sounds, guys. It's pretty crazy what you can do. And one of the cool things about it is the... Pretty much the way they're using the filters and serum we have pretty much a standard set of filters that you guys know from silent one massive and um, spire and those are going to be the low pass the band pass the high pass maybe a comb filter here and there um, but cymatics is the first one to implement these crazy kind of flange filters which pretty much is going to imitate the idea of you having a flanger on it 
And then, um, you know, we have the misc here with Chanette Formant and all this stuff that Tematic tends to use. And that's pretty much going to be how they kind of add like this sort of tonality to the sound. If you guys can picture the difference. You know, it does change the sound. It kind of gives it this little weird um, feeling to it. Like it sounds done while the other one sounds a bit too harsh. So here we have one using the band reject filter. Now, in a previous video, I also explained that Cymatics tends to do something that a lot of sound banks don't tend to do because I guess we're used to making sound banks for like Silent One where it's like you can't input anything, any wavetable or input any type of noise. So Cymatics is going beyond making wavetables for their sound banks and then making sounds out of them. So when you're paying for these sounds, technically you're paying for the sound, the wavetables, the noise, you know, the noise oscillator um, inputs and the programming that you're getting with it. So again, <laughs> very classic sounds, just way heavier, sounds a lot more sharper. You know, and again, the, the use of the filter is very, very creative. As you guys can see here, we have a pretty much the starting point for this. And a lot of people don't know that when you create like this sort of LFO here, what you can do is you can right click anywhere in the LFO and you can set that as the starting point. And you can pretty much do stuff where like it starts here and then we have this crazy pattern and it starts here. And that's only if you feel like it's necessary. And then after it hits here, it just loops continuous. <laughs> Okay, so let's check out a couple more of the bases. And also, another cool thing is if you want to see all the programming that goes into these sounds, you can easily go into the matrix of any patch preset that you have, and you can see all the programming that was done to create that sound. And you can also, I believe, turn it off. So if we want to turn off all these parameters that Cymatics has done, we can and see the difference between uh, basic sound to uh, Cymatics program sound. So if we're going to do this right now, Now these are just macros here, so you don't really need to turn them down. That's what the sound look, sounded like, and as you guys saw before, that's how it's going to sound like with all that programming done. Now, it's a cool way to learn sound design this way because, look, I hear you can say, okay, LFO one is being routed to three things. The warp, the volume of B, and then the, F, the filter mix. If now you can ask yourself, if I were to turn that off, what effect is it giving it so pretty much here i'm taking this off so i know what what effect is being created so if we turn this thing on you can see that's how it sounds like without it but if we were to turn it on and then put this back then we get the original kind of sound that they had so again very very cool stuff in the sound bank and again if you're doing dubstep you know, this is the bank for you. Obviously, if you're making progressive house, I don't know how you're going to implement wobbles. But if you make dubstep, it's very, very useful because you're going to get those wavetables as well. And if you're a sound designer, you can also mess with the wavetables that they have supplied by going here, going into outbreak wavetables. And you can see all the wavetables they have provided for you guys here. Now, um, Cymatics is releasing another $1 wavetable pack, if that's what you guys are into, which is going to be the anniversary wavetables, we are, which are here, which I will make a video about tomorrow. So make sure to stick around for that, guys. But this has been Outbreak by Cymatics. Again, you guys can check out the pack by clicking in the link below. Now, guys, I'm going to be releasing a video either today or tomorrow, and it's going to relate to music uh, music marketing with, um, with another company. And they're going to be giving us their input on blogs, you know how to get SoundCloud followers and all that so make sure to stick around for that this has been Cymatics Outbreak hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time take care and have a good one